What the f Girl, these rats doing my trash. So I say I have to read the entire Bible by Tuesday? Why does a computer science spell it small like a homeless man went to a trash can and cat pissed on him? Because god dang, y'all really need a shower. But don't get me wrong, I love going to Columbia. But man, when using school toilet paper, feels like Satan is like sandpaper in my butthole so hard. He's like trying to start a fire in here. And going out for one night with friends always results in me spending like five days wages on like mediocre food because it's for the New York City experience. There are some things that really piss me off about going to school here. And then you just really just push my buttons. Ow, ow. Ow. Look, I know you're my roommate, but can you please just stick to your half of the room, please? As some of you may know, Colombia is in New York City, and New York City has a lot of people, and lots of people means there's lots of trash. So yeah, no wonder New York City is one of the rattiest cities in the world. So don't even be surprised if you see rats zigzagging from trash bag to trash bag like it's prop hunts in Minecraft or something. No team getting started on the buildings. More than half of the dorms in Columbia don't have AC. So when it's like 100 degrees with 100% humidity, you might as well strip your clothing and let the, the steam just open up your pores like a, like a straight up sauna. And when it gets cold, they automatically crank up the heater so it's like, you guessed it, 100 degrees again. But this time it's like absolute zero outside so I have to resort to this outfit so that I can be prepared for every situation. There are six dining halls of which three people mainly go to. And holy frick, for the whole student population of like 6,000 people, it's a complete absolute war zone during meal times. Trying to find a chair in the dining hall is like trying to find a parking lot at Disneyland. And not gonna lie, I think the food is actually pretty decent. Like I'm actually surprised, some of their dishes, like their chicken parm and their the steak and the lobster, pretty good. Now you can blame me for my inferior genes because I'm lactose intolerant, gluten intolerant, and the food options are sometimes literally non-existent. Like they can't expect me to live off of carrots and celery and water chicken and brown rice pilaf. And yeah, JJ's, our late night on campus fast food joint, is absolutely scrumptious. It has hella tasty hamburgers, fried chicken sandwiches, fries, and chicken wings. And holy, when it's 3 a.m. and you're up late debugging code for AP, that's advanced programming with Mr. J. Wu Lee, then you're absolutely famished. So you ironically go down the spiral staircase to reach fast food heaven. Because JJ's is supposed to be open 23 hours a day, but what a close at 10 p.m. now? This is a truly the saddest moment in history. And on top of that, I don't know what it is about the people in New York City, but the number of unnecessarily rude people is like severely disproportionate in a bad way. Like in my life, I lived in LA for 10 years and Houston for 10 years. Maybe it's a west coast or southern thing, but the people I met there were on average way nicer than the people I interacted with here. But to the occasional server and cook that is extremely nice and kind, thank you for making my day better as I recover from getting absolutely pummeled by the Calculus 3 midterm that I did not study for. Now speaking about getting absolutely pummeled, Columbia boasts a lot about making sure that Columbia is truly affordable for everyone. We will be here to assist you throughout your entire time in Columbia. Yeah, if that's true, then what's this, this, what's this, what's this, what's this? Now these types of things make student sentiments towards the school's administration generally pretty negative. Like given all the horror stories that I've heard, like students getting unenrolled from every class because the health department like lost one of their vaccine records. And like the 1000 years it takes to hear back about anything about your student status. And finally, this is probably my most controversial stance, but I think that Columbia's core curriculum based of 10 required courses from literature humanities to frontiers of science is an absolute waste of time. And sure, there are merits to learning about the great Homeric epics and the greatest philosophers of all time. But do I really have to read 15 books in one semester? For four semesters? I didn't come to college to spend every single living, breathing moment of my weekends reading books, you know, being stuck in my dorm while students at NYU have the absolute most memorable, fulfilling time of their lives having snowball fights at Times Square. You know, I came to Columbia because I wanted to make amazing memories with amazing people who've done amazing things. I wanted to explore new lands far from my home in Houston, Texas. I found that the formula for living the most fulfilling life possible for me is through traveling and exploring new places. New York City is a perfect place to do that. And I came to this conclusion by traveling across America while living in my minivan, which completely changed my perspectives and my priorities when it comes to how I can live the best life possible. And yeah, I guess fulfillment for me is using spark notes instead of actually reading any of the books and making YouTube videos for you guys. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, that's freaking amazing. And I hope you have a freaking great day. Peace.